welcome back to one of my videos. I'm your host, Mac Daddy, and today I'm pretty mad. Now, I'm going to be talking about Gen Z today. It makes me really mad that I'm also a part of this generation. It's really sad. I hate to be that kid that goes, oh, I hate this generation. I wish I was born in an earlier one or later one. Um, but, you know, that's what it is today, and I'm pretty upset about it. Hey, Google, make me happy. I'm on it. We can play some games. I can try to make you laugh, or I can surprise you with some random fun. Try to make me laugh. What's the difference between a hippo and a zippo? One is really heavy, and the other is a little lighter. <laughs> now, to begin this video, I would like to say that everyone is overly sensitive in this generation. For instance, if you call someone like fat or ugly or something like that, you're gonna get like called like uh, like hateful or anything. Like, what happened to like the '90s uh, era where people could just get made fun of and it was like supported? <laughs> like, whatever happened to like the days whenever you can get like old Brad or something, he'd walk up to you and call you ugly, and nothing would ever, no one would ever say anything about it. You know, I support bullying. Bring bullying back. Make bullying great again. I love it. It is like, it's what keeps everything in balance. It's like the, it's some, uh, what Thanos did with the snap, but like, more uh, humane, kind of. For instance, everybody acts like a little pussy, and I'm too scared to say that somebody's outfit doesn't fit them today. Oh, hey, I don't think that outfit looks good on you. Well, why would you say that? I can't, I can't, I, I, my feelings are hurt. Shut the fuck up. Your outfit doesn't look good for a reason. I'm telling you the truth just so you don't look like a fool of yourself. Secondly, we have popularizing drug use. So we got 17-year-old kids, 16-year-old kids going out partying without their parents knowing, obviously, like drinking and smoking, and like every day too, like, bro, you're dying. You're not having fun, you're not lit. You're ending your life at 30 years old probably. We all got those people on Snapchat that post themselves selling like weed or like post themselves like drinking or something like that doesn't look cool it makes you look really trashy and you should probably get something better to do with your life than drink every day and cause liver cirrhosis at 40 um uh yeah do you really want to see your own dad and mom at your own funeral i mean you won't see it because you'll be dead from liver cirrhosis and like popcorn lung or whatever you want to call it whatever you want to give that little meme right there but um, um, anyway, you're gonna make your mom at your funeral be like, oh, I wish I knew what little Timmy was doing at Toby's house. Um, I knew him looking like a skeleton was a sign. I should have done something. I specialize in internet stupidity, so I can point out whether something is right or something's wrong or something should be said or something should not be said about. I, I have a PhD um, in internet stupidity. So, please take my word for all of this, this whole video. I promise you, this is uh, the right way to look at things. And the next thing we have for today, zodiac signs. I despise people who think that the stars says it's okay to crash into a family of five. There is nothing, and I repeat, nothing at all, that the stars say that it's okay to be able to, like, I don't know, uh, Go on like, go on like a mass murdering spree and expect to be free from jail because you're an asparagus. It doesn't mean just because the stars are aligned a certain way, it doesn't mean that you get to break up with your boyfriend or girlfriend because they have like brown hair or something. Well yes, I'm a Virgo so that means I'm legally allowed to kick the shit out of you and take all your money. This generation's really fucking stupid. I, I have no other words uh, because the stars are aligned a certain way and the planets in the shape of a dick or something, that means you can do whatever the hell you want. No, it does not mean that. Grow up. And finally, people that are under the age of 18 and think that the political views are have to be their life. Now, there's nothing wrong with uh, following someone or supporting someone. I completely understand that. I mean, if you ha you're, whatever, do whatever your heart tells you. Do whatever your little Gen Z heart tells you to do. But I don't like the people who can't be friends with each other because someone likes Donald Trump or someone likes Joe Biden. It's on both sides, I'm telling you. They're both ridiculous. There is nothing wrong with supporting Joe Biden or Donald Trump. There is nothing wrong with supporting, I don't know, your local state governor or, you know, anything along those lines. But the problem is you have these people 
who will hate each other and like call each other names over something they believe in. It's a personal belief. It's, it's an opinion. Opinions only matter if you're respectful towards other people's opinions. That's all I can say. You're ridiculous if you hate each other and like want to kill each other over someone's political beliefs. Like I saw this video of some girl that like broke, like said she would break up with her boyfriend because she's a Donald Trump supporter. Like how could you do that? Like you could just, you like you don't know that your boyfriend's a Trump supporter, but like you're willing to just throw away like a whole relationship just because of what he believes in. I personally find that ridiculous. In my mind, just the way it works, the right way, because my mind works kind of superior to the rest of my generation, that it just seems a little bit off to me that people will just ruin friendships and relationships over their political beliefs. That's all I have to say about that. But this was a really quick video. Uh, I don't really want to talk about this subject too much. It makes me really angry that people like this actually exist. Um, but anyway, I'm going to go T-Bone a family of five because I'm an Asparagus. I'll see you guys later. Go Grizz, go Grizz.